Hey guys, it's Sam with Celebrity Workout Routines. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we'll be discussing Naomi Campbell's diet plan. Before we get started though, just a quick note. If you do enjoy the video, really appreciate it if you could give the video a like or subscribe to my channel. Just gives me some great feedback on what type of videos to make in the future. All right, let's get started then. All right, so the best type of diet to get this type of physique is going to be a low carb diet, you know, since the goal here is to go for slender yet toned. You're going to want to restrict calories, carbs, all these unwanted sugars and processed foods while also having a high protein diet so that while you are trying to lose weight and get that slender look, you're going to be maintaining your muscle mass. And that's best achieved with a low carb diet. Essentially, when you restrict carbohydrates, for a extended period of time, your body starts to use different metabolic pathways in order to burn fat and use for energy. So, you know, low carb diets are hard. So I'd say the best way to start is by doing uh, a cyclical diet, cyclical carb diet. So essentially what this is going to do is you're going to have five days of low carbs with two days of high carbs. All right. So by low carbs, you know, that can range for everyone from anywhere from 20 to 100. Just kind of what you're, you know, listen to your body, whatever feels comfortable. If you start feeling sick or sluggish or tired throughout the day, then you can always bump up the carbs a bit. You know, there's no reason to um, go too crazy with it. You know, we are thinking about the long term with this. So we need to make sure that whatever carbs you do eat or whatever level of carbs you do eat throughout the day, it is sustainable. You want to be able to do this for a long period of time. All right. So cycle the carbs and make sure that on your low carb days, you're eating a high protein diet. What this is going to do is, you know, due to your strength training and your cardio, you're going to want to maintain your muscle mass, you know, getting to a low body fat percentage and not having any of that muscle foundation underneath. It's not going to be the look you're going for. So make sure that you are strength training. You have a high protein diet. And that's going to make sure that once you do get to those lower body fat percentages that your arms, your you know muscles are showing through and it's going to give you that toned look. So the three main takeaways for the diet here are keep calories below maintenance and that's going to essentially, you know, have 500 calories below maintenance is going to be the goal. That's about one pound of weight loss per week. And that's a very sustainable and healthy goal. Uh, you, you know, we'll get into this a little bit later, but you don't want to starve yourself or you know go on crash diets it, it, essentially what happens with crash dieting is you might see weight loss for two weeks but then as soon as you stop that crash diet you're gonna rebound really hard it's gonna come back and you're gonna gain all that weight back and it's not gonna be sustainable and you know you got to think about the long term the six seven eight months from now that's when you want to be you know be continue to see improvements at that time frame. So think about the long term, just keep it consistent and uh, make sure that you are losing an appropriate amount of weight each week. So diet takeaway number two, cut out the sugars, no processed foods, no sugary drinks, none of that, you know, even fruit, having an excess of fruit or orange juice, all that is sugar, you know, don't ingest too much of that. Like obviously, if you want to have a glass of orange juice in the morning, not going to kill you and it's not going to slow your progress down as long as you're doing everything else well. So, you know, obviously be smart about it, but make sure that you aren't, you know, getting a bulk of your calories from simple sugars and like no Cokes, uh, drink water when possible, no candy, no junk food, no, nothing like that. Right? Diet takeaway number three, like I discussed earlier, eat protein. You're going to need that protein. When you lift weights, you're tearing your muscle fibers. So by giving your body enough, a surplus of protein, you're going to be not feeling as sore. Your muscles are going to be uh, repairing quicker. So you'll be able to get back in the gym and you won't feel sluggish and tired. And usually all those things lead to lower motivation and you, which leads to people falling off the uh, wagon and not continuing with their workout and diet. So that's about it. You know, Again, like uh, before, when I said it's about the long term, it truly, truly is. You know, you just want to stay consistent. You want to stay focused, and you want to think about the long term plan. This got to be a lifestyle change. It's not a fad diet. It's not about three weeks from now for some party that you're going to. You want to make these changes for the long run. And if you approach it with that mindset, then you know, as soon as you hit your goal, you'll 
won't it won't be any different to maintain it for two years, three years, four years, five years. Like down the road is what you want to think about. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please give this video a like or subscribe to my channel. Gives me some great feedback on what you guys are enjoying. All right, catch y'all later. Thanks. Peace.